Hi everyone, in this video I am going to show how to use the GIMP path tool to use a path tool to create, um, draw different shapes or draw any kind of objects so, uh, along the path. So it's a very useful tool. I'm just now going to demonstrate how to use this uh, tool. So the path, path tool, uh, we have to select the path tool and then we can create our path of a of choice uh, let's create a path and then we can what we can do we can go to the path here path and show the path and then now we are able to see the path and then if we select the path tool we can here go to the design edit select move path and we can adjust where we want the path to be and then if we want to edit of course we want to edit and then suppose i want to draw something along this path or it's kind of like a printing or copying something along this path so what we have to do for that so there are different ways to do it um, so we first have to decide what we want to draw along this path uh, let's select this predefined star and we can we can test by using the brush tool and we can see other star looks like okay have to pick a better color which we can see say red color and the star is coming up like that let's increase the size of the star is it bigger now yeah it's much bigger uh, let's reduce the size after that okay that's perfect and we have got in the paint brush tool uh we selected the star and then now uh, we're gonna draw this star along the path so what we have to do, we have to go to the path uh, toolbox and then select our path and then right click and a stroke path. In the stroke path dialog box, we can select a stroke with the paint tool and whatever we had the setting here, paint brush settings will be applied for a stroking. So if you stroke and you see a continuous star uh, printing or drawing of the star along the path but uh, something we sometimes want to adjust the spacing between the stars so if we want to achieve that what we have to do uh, we have to here go to the spacing here and uh, space percentage of width of the brush and then we can increase the spacing what it does it just creates gaps between the stars and the drawing so now we have a better so until we have to keep adjusting it until we get the desired effect so here we got lesser and lesser stars So for example now say we have got something else let's create a new uh, layer and in the new layer what we're gonna do we're gonna create a new drawing and then we're gonna copy the drawing along the path and which is essentially the same just to demonstrate uh, let's select this Paint brush and then draw something like this and then use the paint bucket to uh, fill with pattern and that looks nice and we can here increase the threshold to blend it more beautifully yeah now looks way better now we've got the layer and then 
when we what we are trying to do achieve the same thing we did before copy so we're gonna hide the other layer and just we to copy this thing uh, so we say copy visible and it goes to our paintbrush clipboard image from the copy so now we have got our thing under the paintbrush select none and now let's adjust the our part to be slightly different this time and let's create some curves there like so I know I'm not so good in not a professional artist um, now let's go do the same thing uh, go to the paths and stroke path with paintbrush stroke I've got lots of them adjust the size let's reduce the size and then increase the spacing to 200 and we want to hide this one this layer the drawing layer and then a stroke path again alrighty we want a stroke in the background layer beautiful so we kind of achieved what we wanted so this shows you how to use the path tool to draw anything along the path um, so that's all for today thank you very much